Hi, I'm Niall Sagay. Invented in 1940, I present you the halter. No, this is not some punk rock form of birth control, although it probably could double as that. The halter has nails in the mouthpiece that when worn by a calf would prevent it from nursing. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that this would scare the living daylights out of any animal. Do you want some milk? Oh, all you have to do is get past this death trap that looks like it came from the prop department of any Saw movie. It looks like a birthday gift from Tim Burton. It was used sparingly, because it was invented in the 1940s during World War II, which I guess makes sense that they would ration. It also really helped the veal industry, right? Oh, what's that? You want some, you want some milk? Oh, maybe not so much, little heifer. There's a fat Texan who's willing to pay big dollars for your hindquarters. That was sad. Try not to think about it. Shh, let go of the visual. This probably isn't helping, right? This is terrifying. Anywho's, so um, fun thing that you wouldn't notice just by seeing it, but once you get this close and you hold it, it looks like it's made of leather, but it's actually about 90% nightmare. Fun fact, who would have thought? Um, had little nails, <laughs> little nails that you would put on a calf. There's no way that any person who invented this has any seen, ever seen any kind of Disney film. Because they're just, how could you? I got nothing. This thing has stumped me. It's broken me as a person, I think. This next part is for the parents. So kids, if you could look away. I personally think we should bring this back. Maybe just put it on little children. Obviously a smaller size, which would save on leather, um, which ironically the calves would appreciate. Um, and that way you could have like little kids, you know, they want more chocolate milk, but they can't. They'd just be slamming up against the fridge like a great white on Shark Week. That's a visual I think you can keep, right? Unless you're a parent, or a kid, or a human being with feelings.